I guess this is the last one for me. But <laughs> every year since 1981, and I think the spirit of volunteerism that is around this table and in this room is has been just magnificent, and I appreciate the leadership of John McKillicuddy for the, chairing the 88 uh, campaign here, and I, I'm most grateful to him, and I know how successful he did. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, I'm pleased to uh, present our report on behalf of the committee. Uh, we did uh, have a very successful campaign, uh, thanks to the support from you, from the Secretary of the Treasury, and our Treasurer, Kay Ortega people that work with her out in the field. I might say also, uh, Mr. President, that uh, in my travels around the country, uh, I was fortified by the several jokes that you told us last year. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't tell them as well as you do. <laughs> but it, it, I did tell them at every stop, and they always laughed politely because they knew that you told them better. <laughs> but it was an umbilical cord back here to Washington and an affirmation of the fact that this was important to you personally as well as to the country. And in no small way, that's testimony to the successful campaign that we had. So on behalf of our committee, uh, I would like to thank you. And we've had a, a poster that uh, we commissioned that uh, Leroy Neiman did, and we have a uh, framed uh, poster signed by Leroy, which uh, all of the committee members uh, have received from me and thanks, and we want to, we'll present one to you as well for the thank thanks. You very much. Our thanks to you for your support because you make it possible. Well, thank you very much. I wish I could remember what those stories <laughs> Well, they were Russian stories. <laughs> you were getting ready for your meeting. And, uh, that's, I've been collecting, though. <laughs> well, now you've, you've just tempted me too far. <laughs> because of, I've continued to hear them, and in the recent Moscow summit over there, even before I came home, the boys brought me one that was going around, and it had to do with the summit. It seems that they, they now were telling a story among themselves that Gorbachev and I were in his limousine. My unit chief of Secret Service was with me, his security man was with him, and we were sightseeing, and they took us out to a waterfall. And we all got out of the car and were looking at the beautiful waterfall. And then, according to the story, Gorbachev said to my Secret Service man, go ahead, jump, go over the fall. And he said, I've got a wife and three kids. And so Gorbachev turned to his man and said, go ahead, jump, go over the fall. And he did. <laughs> and my man scrambled down the rocks around the fall to see if he could be of help at the bottom, found him down there wringing out his clothes and said, why did you do that? And he told you to do that. Why did you jump? Well, he said, i got a wife and three kids. <laughs> $7 billion in bond sales value this year. And uh, the outstanding bonds as of now are $108 billion, and that's the first time in the history of the program we've had that. And uh, we've given, I think, a, uh, now a, we have to meet the record of the 88 uh, committee with the 89 committee. And uh, so uh, now John. And Denon, you have a target to shoot at. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I'm grateful to you, you for doing it, you for taking this on. Well, Mr. President, it's, it's the honor of our committee to print this booklet in the twilight of your presidency, and it's an honor because that enables us to put your portrait in it, and we are, we are indeed proud of that. This is the campaign booklet with which we will start our effort to try to live up to the record that John McGillicuddy and John Creedon have set before us. And uh, we have a great team. We're up to the challenge. We're well armed with a story now. And we'll do everything we can to support the, uh, the important work that uh, uh, Secretary Brady and Treasurer Kay Ortega uh, uh, apply in their uh, support of this program. And, and uh, we pledge to you our full commitment John, I find that I think you better roll for two stories. Keep my straight man.
Well, I could tell you the story. I, the only two that I've ever heard or learned of those that I felt I could tell Gorbachev. And uh, got a laugh from him. And this one had to do with, and this was fairly recent, that they've got out an order now that anyone caught speeding in the Soviet Union gets a ticket. Anyone, no matter who it is. But of course, you know, almost all the automobiles are driven by members of the bureaucracy over there. And they, they, uh, the private people can't very much afford them. This one has Gorbachev coming out of his country home, his dacha, and the limousine and the driver are there, and he knows he's late getting to the Kremlin, and he tells the driver to get in the back seat, and he gets in the front seat, and down the road he goes, passes two motor cops, and one of them takes out after him. A few minutes, he's back with his friend. He says, did you give him a ticket? He said, no. Well, he said, well, we're, we're supposed to give anyone a ticket, no matter. Well, he said, no, 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 the, this one was too important. Well, he said, who was it? And he said, I couldn't recognize him, but his driver was Gorbachev. <laughs> Just recently, my Kathy, my secretary, uncovered, I don't know where they were stored away, a whole packet of my cards and things that I use for speeches going way back into the 60s. And I was amazed when I was looking at them, and I didn't have speech writers then. I had to do it myself. And uh, I came upon a couple of stories there, and I can't ever remember myself telling them in connection with a speech. But just to give you an idea of how confused I must have been then, this one was about the man in the maternity ward who said to the nurse, he said, I, I wanted, where, where's Yumikins? He said, she, you know, she hadn't got any hair and she hadn't got any teeth and, and uh, she can't talk and, and, uh, and she doesn't see so good. And the nurse said, well, Yumikins is your daughter. He said, no, no, my wife, I don't see so good either. <laughs> Present that officially. Well, before and after. Before and after. <laughs> well, I thank you. And Victor Kayam, congratulations on winning the Kate Smith Award. Thank you, Mr. President. For your outstanding service, exceptional service. Uh, as you know, that award is named because of all that Kate did in the sale of bombs during World War II and, and after. And she was tireless in all of her efforts. And you have been too. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. President, this will also be my last one, and so I am delighted to present you with this American Eagle on behalf of the Savings Bond Division, and it does say Ronald W. Reagan, President of the United States, with appreciation for his exceptional leadership and support, U.S. Savings Bond Program, 1981 1989. Thank you very much. Thank you all also. This whole thing of privatization in our country and doing things this way has finally caught on. I don't know how many of you were aware that two years ago we received a plea from Paris, from France, to go to, to send some people to Paris connected with the private sector programs in this country. And there were representatives of most of the European countries. They wanted to find out from us how this worked and how to establish a private sector initiative such as we have in this country. Because up until now, uh, government's done everything, not the, not the private citizens. So we were very pleased and proud to send some people there. And they have now... Our Minister of Japan. Yes, Minister, Minister. Uh, well, they were it's a great honor. Please, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Mary, please. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. My friend, how are you? Thank you, sir. It's a delight to see you. Jimmy Baker told me he'd have a word with you. Thank you, Mr. Fetzi. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Good to see you. Nice to see you. My name is First of all, may I thank you very much from the very bottom of my heart for staring in time today. President, I feel very pleased and honored to be given this chance to meet uh, yourself and also with the presence of the President elect Mr. Bush. I have no words to express how honored and how pleased I am today. We're very pleased and honored to have you here. We're looking forward to this. wishes to two good friends, uh, Prime Minister Takeshita, whom I refer to as Noboru, and uh, Yasu, Mr. Nakasone. As you perhaps know, uh, in the economic summits, all of us who are there are on a first-name basis. The great state of California. Well, <laughs> well, but around the barn, I'll go home with you. Rabbi Rachel. Hello there. Rabbi Feller. From Minnesota. Rabbi Lazarus. Greetings from the state of Texas. Well, <laughs> pleased to have you here. Rabbi Rubin. Welcome to New York. Rabbi Schmartkin. Good to see you once again. Good to see you. Rabbi Groner. From Charlotte, North Carolina. Good to be here with you again. Rabbi Kor. Hello there. Nice to see you. Rabbi Gwari. Hello there. Nice to see you. Rabbi Raskin. Hello there. And Rabbi Popak. How are you doing? Nice to see you. It's nice to meet you. Measure they want a group photo. <laughs> President, you might want to okay. lean down this way a little bit. Here's the mic. Once again, I have the distinct privilege and pleasure of presenting you with the menorah. The menorah is a replica of the national menorah which is standing outside in the lips, which has since become known as the national menorah. The menorah signifies a very important event back in history in which there was a, an attempt to secularize the world and, and deprive the world of its values and traditions. On Hanukkah, the, the spiritual and the spirit triumphed over those uh, attempts. This is a struggle that lasts throughout history, and we in our time are also facing the struggle throughout the world. <coughs> the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Schneerson, whom we are privileged to represent here, he's championed this struggle in during our lifetime. And you, Mr. President, have really been a tremendous contributor 
to the victory that we are noticing in many areas today, where value is beginning to triumph over material. You have succeeded in introducing a recognition and awareness that without tradition and without return to values, we are doomed, God forbid. And for what you have done in this area, we are all indebted to you, and we would like to express our appreciation to you on behalf of the more than 200 representatives of the Rebbe in the United States and many hundreds throughout the world and all that stand for the same values and for the same ideals that you have been championing in our time. And with this, I present you with him and our yes. I thank you. This has been a ceremony for eight years that I look forward to and the friends of Dovalich have always been supportive of us and what we're doing and I think Hanukkah, which does remind us of the importance of God and of all others in our life, I'm just most pleased and proud to, to have this and I wish you all happy Hanukkah. This takes on additional significance now that you as the leader of the free world will also be meeting next week with one who's occupying an important position. And I think that within, within the two of you, much can be accomplished in bringing the world back to where it's supposed to be. This is presented to you and Mrs. Reagan with best wishes for many years of health and happiness from representatives of the world-renowned spiritual leader, Rabbi Menachem Schneerson, and the Rebbe, Hanukkah 5749. This is a book just of the press, which depicts the activities of Lubavitch throughout the world. No. And we are certainly happy to present you with this book. Well, I'm very proud to have it. Thank you very much. May you and Mrs. Reagan enjoy it for many, many years of health and happiness. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Shem. There you go. Thank you. Shall we? We should be good health and to be able to bring peace to life for the whole family. God bless you, Mr. President. Hopefully, we'll see you in California. Thank you. It's not be long now. God bless you. Health and happiness. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.